Assalamu alaikum, my brothers and sisters. Peace be upon you. Today we're diving into a topic that often comes up for new Muslims. Do you need to change your name when you convert to Islam? Let's explore the significance of names in Islam and what you should consider if you're thinking about making a change. Choosing a name in Islam. Names in Islam are more than just labels. They carry deep meanings and reflect personal attributes, virtues and values. So, how do you choose the right name? Meaning matters. Names with positive meanings are highly valued. Think names like Amir, Prince, or Zain, Beauty. These names carry a sense of dignity and grace that align with Islamic values. Honoring prophets and companions. Names of revered figures in Islamic history, like Muhammad or Fatima, are often chosen for their spiritual significance and respect. They connect us to our rich heritage and role models. Fun fact. Did you know that Muhammad is actually the most common name in the world? It's a testament to the profound respect and love people have for the Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him. Reflecting Islamic values, opt for names that embody virtues such as Sadiq, Truthful, or Mumin, Believer. These names not only sound beautiful, but also represent the core values of Islam. Avoid negative meanings. It's important to choose names that don't carry negative connotations. Names should uplift and inspire rather than detract from your identity. Cultural considerations. While the meaning is crucial, cultural and familial traditions also play a role. Choose a name that respects your heritage and fits well with your personal journey. Changing your name after converting to Islam. So, do you have to change your name if you convert to Islam? The short answer is no, you don't have to. Islam doesn't require new Muslims to change their names. Many converts keep their original names, especially if they have positive meanings or significant cultural value. However, if you're considering a name change, you might choose a name that reflects Islamic values or has a meaningful significance. This is a personal decision and not a requirement. If you're unsure, it's always a good idea to seek advice from knowledgeable people in your community or a local imam. Remember, what truly matters in Islam is your faith and practice, not the name you carry. Whether you keep your name or choose a new one, it's your journey and commitment that count the most. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content on Islamic teachings and personal growth. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.